Um, hey, uh, before we get started, uh, Stan wants us to say a, a few words, and uh, I'm gonna bring him up and pass it over. And then we're gonna uh, once we've uh... and I never was sure whether I was Ukrainian or Polish because my father was born in the Ukraine. But even though he's born there, they considered him Polish, so uh, we're really not Ukrainian. <laughs> and first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming. It's really an awesome feeling for me to stand up here and look at my family. And, well, it's difficult for me. And I wanted to know that for you people who don't speak Polish, uh, there's a word in Polish that describes me, and that's plakseve, which means someone who cries easily. <laughs> and there's no English equivalent of it. <laughs> and before we begin about me, there are a couple of things I'd like to say that since we've been in lockdown, we lost my sister-in-law, Ruth. And last week, we lost my sister, Elsie. So I would like to just drink a toast to Ruth and Elsie. Thank you. And one thing that I've been thinking about now that I'm 90 years old. Yay! Um, <laughs> and I've been asked, well, what does it take to be 90 years old? And I was thinking about that and thinking about it. And all I can say is it took a lot of help. I've been helped by so many different people, but mostly by my family. And I, growing up, I've had one thing that was a that was a center for me, and that was that I felt loved. And my mother and father loved me. Sister Blanche loved me. Elsie loved me. My brother John loved me. And I just feel so fortunate. We love you. We love you. And then, 61 years ago, in New York City, I crashed a party. <laughs> I wasn't invited. I walked in with a bottle of booze and I was accepted <laughs> and I met the love of my life. Yeah. I met Lina. And when we started dating, I realized very, very quickly within about two or three dates that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. And I certainly hope I can. <laughs> We've been married for 60 years. Wow. So before we start attacking all this food again, I want to welcome you all. Thank you for coming. And I want you to remember but you are really awesome people. You are really very, very special. Not only to me, but to each other as well. Thank you. Thank you.
want to talk a little bit about Stan. Um, first time I met Stan, as you all know, he crashed the party at our, um, my New York City apartment. And uh, he came with his friend, nice bottle. My roommate says, come in. Hey, <laughs> Stan's birth. April 8th. There we go. <laughs> Number three. What? Just the love that you shared. I mean, just, just throughout my childhood. And you with Lena, of course. And I don't know, it's just so, meant so much to me. And I don't know if I can express it as much. You know, I, can, I don't think I can find words to express that. He was off to, going off to school, but uh, Grandma had, this, had him go get the... Um, uh, midwife. The midwife, and uh, which was late for me to be awake at that time too, and I decided we're gonna have a pool party, and everyone was like, "What kind of?" Like my dad was like, "I don't know." Like I made that happen for me, one of my dreams come true. Um, and then since then, I'm with your, with your uh, Riley, and then eventually bringing in Lena out and and introducing her to us. Um, like, like, you know what your father did with my father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't get angry so quickly. Wishes <laughs> and orange wishes. Yeah? Okay. Dla Niech ten radosny urodzinny nowy dzień na zawsze te swe troski odsunie w cień. I niech się śmieje do ciebie świat blaskiem szczęśliwych i długich lat. Wszystkiego najlepszego z okazji urodzin. So, uh, Stefan, come. Stefan uh, is my translator. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, for Uncle, for Uncle Stanley, let this joyful day of your birthday make all your concerns disappear. Let the world smile to you with the shine of happy and long years. Happy birthday to you. And from Eva, Viaswav, and Jan. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> they used to tell me I was building a dream, and so I followed them all. When there was earth to plow or guns to bear, I was always there, right there on the job. They used to tell me I was building a dream with peace and glory ahead. Why should I be standing in line just waiting for bread? 